Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to look uh, into how do we transpose data uh, in Stata. So uh, in transpose, what we do is we convert, uh, we transform uh, rows into columns and columns into uh, rows. So we kind of flip the data. Uh, this is the concept coming from matrices. Uh, okay, so this is different from, uh, remember, converting data from white to long and long to white format. So if you want, if you have a data in, in white format or a long format and you want to convert into uh, the opposite uh, data format, then for that you need to watch our video on reshape in Stata. Uh, but this one is specifically related to transport. So transpose is different from reshaping data. So let's have a look at uh, the data set that we are going to use. So we have firm ID. Uh, so these are different firms. So this is the firm identifier and we have different uh, years of data. So each variable is called, um, it starts with the word year, the string year. And then we have the digit uh, of the specific year that we have. And then we have certain the data related to this specific form for this specific year and so on and so forth. So what we want is we want to, um, we want to convert the rows into columns and columns into rows. But before we move forward, what I would like to do is I would like to uh, take a picture of this data. So once we transpose the data, uh, I can show you both uh, the transposed and the original data set so that you can compare uh, what have happened to the data. Okay, so for this, what we are going to use is we are going to use the expose command and expose, transpose the data uh, in Stata. Uh, remember, we need to use clear option. It is mandatory to use this. Without this, it is going to throw an error uh, and asking us to use this option. So we just write the command, no need to mention the variables and just include the clear option. Okay, so let's uh, execute the data. And to understand what have happened is, this is the original data set. You would see that uh, we had this row uh, and this had been converted into column. So we had from ID one, which is over here. Then we had 406, which is over here. 516 and so on and so forth. Similarly, this row had been converted into this column. So it just converts rows into columns and columns into rows. Uh, what about those uh, uh, variable names? They had been removed. And uh, these new variable names are coming from the row name. Remember, the these were the row names, uh, rather not names, but rather numbers. So these numbers had been, um, you know, used uh, to define these column names, right? So these row numbers are not coming from here, but rather these are, uh, sorry, column names are coming from uh, the row numbers. Okay, so that was, uh, that was easy, but what if we wanted to have variable names? We would use the VR name option, uh, like, we have lost the variable names, right? These, this data. What if we wanted this data? What we would do is let me just re-import this original data because once we transpose, we lose our original data. So let's just import the original data. And now instead of, uh, I do not want to lose this variable name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use VAR name. What VAR name would do is it would keep the variable names. Uh, let's transpose and you can see that we have got variable names over here. Uh, the variable name in the original data set are now um, in its own column. Okay, so this was the data where we had, uh, uh, where we didn't had any strings, right? So there were all numbers, even the firm had an ID and not the name. What if uh, the firm had a name? So I'm using this example to data where we have names and remember they are coded red and we know that they are string data. Uh, they are alphabets rather than numbers. And the issue with expose is that when you transpose 
a string variable uh, this string data would be used, uh, would be lost so it just transposes a uh, number so it it's mainly used for matrices and that's why uh, it just uh, works with the numbers okay so if i do transpose i use the expose command the same command I just used you would see that the string which should have been here had been uh, lost so let me just again uh, reperform this by taking the image of the original data and then execute the command and then showing the data side by side you would know states that the symbol the the first uh, column in this original data was string which should have been transposed into transposed into rows but uh, we have lost that data because that was a string variable and uh, remember variables can only contain a specific variable type so expose was uh, would lose the string so a string would be turned into missing values the work around with this is that if you want if you have a string data uh, like the one that we have over here the the idea uh, the, the the way around is to use the s expose command which is which stands for string expose and you need to ssc install s expose if you haven't already installed it so it is a user written command user written command and does not come built in with stata okay so we do expose clear and okay so it asks us because we do, we do have numeric variables so we didn't need to use the force option so that's fine we just type force over here okay and now i would uh, again try to execute this command and you would see that uh, now we didn't lose that data all the variables had been converted into string so this is a string right uh what if let's 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 get the data back what if we wanted uh what if uh, when we are transposing the data we want these names to be the variable names right uh, that would actually be uh, a quite uh, great transpose where these names are converted into variable names so for that we we didn't had any this kind of an option in expose but we do have that in uh, s expose and that's called fast names and let me execute this but you would notice that they had been lost and the reason is that if you if you closely look at the 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 symbol names they have a dot in them and that is a special character remember a variable name cannot have special characters with them within them it can be uh, alphabets alphanumeric it cannot only be numeric names uh, and there shouldn't be any special character so that's a valid variable name right so let's execute this uh, this concept with this example 3 data and what i have done is instead of just numbers i have an alphanumeric number and it is a valid variable name so if i do expose clear first names force now what it would do is it would convert those uh, those first columns the 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 data in the first column into names of the uh, the variable right lastly we have another ssc install command which is again uh, install s expose 2 it is again a user written command i have already installed it but if you want to install you would have to use this command so let me get this data back the issue with uh, s expose is that it do not give us variable name right as we did with the expose command so that is a deficiency with s expose that deficiency is fulfilled by s expose 2 s expose 2 is similar to x expose it do have the same functions like the first name etc the only difference is that it would also give us uh, an additional column that would contain the variable names right so currently our variable names are year 2000 till 2006 so these would be lost when we executed this command over here 
but now uh, as uh, similar to the uh, as ex, uh, uh, expose sorry expose command uh, these variable names are not lost lost and we get as we have used the first op, first names option uh, the 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 uh, the data in the first column had been converted into variable names so i hope uh, that was useful uh, do hit the subscribe button uh, and uh, do hit the bell icon uh, thanks for watching the video